Okay gang, will my Harbor Freight 3500 watt Predator inverter generator start after sitting under my workbench for six months? We're going to find out right now. Okay, welcome back. Today is May the 20th, 2020, and we've already had our first named storm of the hurricane season, and it's not even hurricane season yet. Hurricane season doesn't start till June 1st, goes all the way through November 1st. So, now is the perfect time to get out those generators and see if they start. Check the gas, check the oil, check the spark plug, clean the air filter, brush it all off, get it all set and ready for hurricane season because when a hurricane spins up out there and it's headed your way, that is not the time to try to start your generator because you're going to be running around like a chicken with its head cut off trying to figure out why your generator doesn't start. So takes my advice and do it now before the hurricanes hit. Okay, I'm going to go over and I'm going to show you that my Harbor Freight Predator generator has been sitting under my workbench since at least last October. All I did was throw a towel over it. It's got some stuff on it, like a pressure washer and some stuff in front of it. It's been sitting under there for six months and I did that for a reason. I wanted to do this video to see if it starts. So let's go over and get that sucker out and we'll see what kind of shape it's in. All right, here's my workbench and you can see that there's a brown towel right there and I don't know whether you can see there's the generator wheels it's got a pressure washer on top of it um, there's bikes and stuff in front of it. Uh, it it's been sitting down there for a full six months so let's dig that sucker out and see if we can get it started all right first of all we have to move some stuff Okay, here she is, just like I left her. Man, it looks good. Let's go see if it starts. All right, here we go. We successfully got her out from under the workbench. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in on the control panel here. All right. This is the one that has electric start. And this is the starter button right here. I haven't turned the gas on yet haven't done anything I guarantee you that this battery is dead as a doornail if it's not I'm gonna be really surprised so I'm gonna see if this is just gonna kick over and we're gonna hit the starter all right just as I thought nothing okay we're not gonna turn it on yet but the battery is dead so I'm gonna to have to pull start it and I'm here to tell you I haven't pull started this generator ever this is going to be the first time that I've ever started it with the pull start. So now I'm going to go over and prove it to you that I haven't started it up yet. And this thing is stone cold. Okay. Okay. Now, here's the back of, here's the, back of the generator. The only way that I know to prove to you that this is an absolutely cold generator is I'm going to stick my finger right inside the muffler right against the muffler and if I had even started this generator for even 30 seconds this would burn my hand this thing is stone cold I promise you it hasn't been started for six months so let's go around the front and we'll go through the starting procedure okay when I put this thing in storage last year, I did a couple of things. It had a full tank of gas uh, for ethanol free gas with some stable in it. It had nice or fresh oil because I had just changed the oil. But before I put it in storage, I drained the gas out of the carburetor. 
and that's an absolutely essential thing to do on these small engines and generators is if you're going to store your generator for any longer than say 30 days or so you have to drain the gas out of the carburetor this one does not have a, a switch where you can turn off the gas while it's still running and run the gas out of the carburetor there's a little screw on the bottom of the float bowl of the carburetor that you just loosen and all the gas drains out of the float bowl I actually did a video on that and I'm gonna put a card in the upper right hand corner to that video show you how to do it very very easily on this but that's absolutely essential if you're gonna store your generator for any longer than 30 days you have to drain the gas out of the carburetor so before we even turn the gas on, and I haven't even touched that yet, we're going to do one last thing and then we're going to be ready to roll. Okay, if you haven't run your generator for a while, before the first starting, we're going to take and we're going to pull the, the starter cord, I don't know, three or four, maybe five or six times because if your generator has been sitting for months like mine has, it gives the oil time to drain out of the cylinder and it's going to drain out of the piston rings and it's going to drain out of the lifter and the engine and everything else and it's going to drain back down the oil pan and if you just start your engine up dry it's going to cause some damage to the engine or could cause some damage but what you do and how you get around that is you just pull this a few times so we're just going to kind of pull it lightly to get some of the oil pumping All right, half a dozen times, that should be good. Now, we're gonna take our switch and we're gonna turn it to start. And we're gonna let it sit for, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds or so. Now it's on start. Now the gas is coming from the gas tank and it's filling up the carburetor. And you know, give it a few seconds to, to get rolling. And that should do it. All right, I'm gonna just move the camera real quick and we're gonna crank this. All right, moment of truth, eco throttle off. Let's see how many takes, cranks it takes to start this. No way. One crank after six months. I can't believe it. <laughs> Look at her go. We got we got green lights. Oh man, one crank after six months. Can you believe that? That's how loud this generator is. I guarantee you can hear me on the camera. This is with the Eco Throttle off. It's the first time I've ever used the manual pull start. Now, my battery's dead as a doornail going to have to address that issue later but I can be reasonably assured that this generator is going to start on the first pull every time okay so let's go back up to the bench and wrap this up man I can't believe it six months sitting under my workbench and it started on the first pull say what you want to about Harbor Freight generators but this one has been a really really good one it's exactly two years old uh, and it hasn't given me a single problem at all so just to recap, now is the time to pull your generators out and get them started and get them all fixed up because when a hurricane's bearing down on your ass, you're not going to have time to screw around rebuilding the carburetor and you're going to wish that you had seen this video. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, uh, this is Matt, the old floor boy, hoping that you will stay safe in this hurricane season and I will see you on the trail.